Hi, it's Simon. It's great to see that Microsoft are actively asking users what they want to see developed in Loop. So let's tell them. Now they have finally launched Loop, I think we are seeing both some unique and powerful features like Loop components across the workspace and Office 365 integration, and some annoying pitfalls in our workflows at the moment. The way I see it, Loop has a lot in common with Notion. Uh, yeah, the block-based workspace app that I use every day to run my life. And I think there are a few things that Notion does that Microsoft should definitely learn from. This is how I think Loop can and should be developed to make it a true online workspace contender. Let me know what you think of the ideas and definitely share what you want to see from Loop in the comments. And hey, Microsoft, what do you think about the suggestions? So first, a quick recap. Loop is the new app in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem that kind of acts as an online workspace for teams to collaborate in. It's different to SharePoint in, in the fact that it functions as a customizable block-based document, like Notion. Different to Teams, though, in the fact that the workspace exists outside of all the little chats that you're having, but still is a place where a team can have conversations and collaborate all at once on key pages. But most excitingly, an element of the workspace can be turned into a loop component that can then in turn be shared and synced across other apps. It means it has the potential to be a true workspace hub for your workflows. But whilst it's designed for team collaboration, I think Microsoft could be missing a trick in its possibilities for personal productivity, but more on that a bit later. So first of all, the number one thing I think Loop can learn is to just add databases and relations. Yeah, well, I would say this as a Notion user, but honestly, it would be the Loop game changer. Just bring a fraction of the Excel functionality into the workspace and allow users to create referencing relations between databases inside Loop and you create a far more flexible and customizable tool for companies and individuals to adapt to their needs. Custom database design equals seriously powerful systems. Just check out my life OS in Notion if you don't know what I mean. A block-based platform like Loop suggests it's there though, doesn't it? To be customized to the user's needs. So let us truly do that. Loop's promise, in my opinion, is that it functions as a hub for a team to collaborate. And if we could be able to create references and relations to data from across the 365 ecosphere in Loop, that would truly deliver on that promise. Would you like that? <laughs> Sorry. The second thing Loop can learn from Notion is letting us personalize. Customization and community is king. Okay, so Microsoft do currently give us the option to use their slightly branded covers and icons. And to be honest, I find them a little too corporate chic for my taste. Give users the option to add custom covers and icons or even color coded icon sets. And suddenly I think you'll see more people getting excited about making the tool their own. I love that Microsoft Loop has already made template pages. And even cooler, you can add them with pre-created content either included or not included. That's a cool feature. So imagine if you allow users to create their own version of those templates. People would start creating template pages, sharing them with others, and just like the thriving Notion template community, we'd see a whole subculture of people choosing to invest in Loop and share their use cases and just making it better. It may seem simple, but I genuinely think personal investment and Ownership in the look and feel of workspaces like this is what builds community and a sense of ownership over the tool, and I suppose investment in it. And speaking of which, a sub to this channel is another great way to grow your community. Join us. So Notion inspired improvement number three is pages within pages and the ability to do page mentioning. We can currently create workspaces and then pages within workspaces in Loop. But that's really it when it comes to structures. It means that if, say, I want to create a project workspace and then pages within that to hold other areas, I can't do it. Add to that the fact that I can only list pages in the sidebar or reference them as links that then can't be clicked directly and custom structures for project pages becomes really limited. The simple addition of unlimited pages within pages and the option to assign pages to either workspaces 
or sub pages and suddenly we can create custom page structures and navigation like you might on a website. On top of that, if you create an at mention system for pages, we can also create quick personal reference menus for important stuff that we want to get to and it creates a much more nuanced and intuitive navigation around the system. That is that at mention thing that's made my entire kind of personal notion system so much easier to use because I can create quick links to relevant stuff on the page that I'm on. Number four, come on Microsoft, give us some better sharing options. Currently, we can only share pages for Loop within our organization. So just add the simple option of sharing pages publicly or sections of workspaces outside of the organization and Loop becomes a far more future-facing and useful collaborative tool. Teams could use the feature to share information with clients. Small businesses could invite contractors and collaborators to project pages like I do with my editor on my Notion stuff. And you could even turn sections of your Loop workspace into website pages or blogs. Interesting, right? But number five has to be the most important from my perspective. Design for individual productivity and teams will follow. So whilst Microsoft clearly see Loop as a collaborative workspace for teams, and rightly so, I think that if Microsoft start to look at Loop as a personal tool first, they will see a much faster uptake from Teams. I believe this would have been the model that Notion took, really, and why so many businesses adopted Notion as a back-end organization system. Individuals fell in love with it, and its community then took it into their workplaces and advocated for it. So, come on, Microsoft, embrace the individual with Loop. Yes, it's a collaborative tool, but look at its potential and what it has on offer as a base for a personal productivity hub or second brain. So to that end, if you wanna see what I mean by personal productivity and building a second brain and learn why I think everyone should create one to make their lives easier, make sure to watch this video next and I help you escape the overwhelm with some simple personal productivity tools in this one. It would be awesome if you left a comment, amazing if you subscribed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.